Hello, I am Dr. Ajay Sharma, Department of uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering, uh, James Engineering Management Technical Campus, Knowledge Park, Third Greater Noida. The subject that I teach in this semester is optoelectronics and optical communication. This is the main subject of BTEC seven semester students. This is the main subject. And the topic that we discuss today in this lecture is wave propagation in a step index and graded index fiber. Well, uh, uh, optical fibers uh, are of many types, you know, uh, depending upon the number of modes that the fiber support, right? If the fiber support uh, only one mode, then uh, we can say that this fiber is a single mode fiber. And if the fiber supports more than one mode, come in the category of multi-mode fiber, right? So fibers are classified according to the number of modes that they can propagate, right? They can support. So a single mode fiber only support one mode and that mode we call as a fundamental mode. So, single mode fiber can propagate only the fundamental mode, and multi mode fibers can propagate hundreds of modes, at least more than one. So, so multi mode fibers can support and propagate hundreds of modes. An optical fiber's refractive index profile and core size further distinguish single mode and multi mode fiber. Actually, the structure of the optical fiber decides whether it is single mode and multi mode. Because in multi mode fiber, the diameter of the core is, uh, you know, is is large as compared to diameter of the core in single mode. So and and every fiber has its refractive index profile. So the two, these two elements, one is refractive index profile, other is core size, decides whether the fiber is single mode and multi mode, right? So the refractive index profile describes the value of refractive index as a function of radial distance at any fiber diameter. We will discuss in next slides about this refractive index profiles, right? Now, wave uh, fiber uh, refractive index profile classifies single mode and multi mode fiber as follows. So, on the basis of single mode fiber, multi mode fiber, on the basis of step index fiber, uh, uh, graded index fiber, we have four types of fibers available for optical communication engineers to use, right? So, on the basis of single mode, multi mode, on the basis of step index, grid index, we have a four combinations that can possible. Or uh, these four combinations means these four different types of fibers. First is multi mode step index fiber. Second is multi mode graded index fiber. Third is single mode step index fiber, and fourth is single mode graded index fiber. So these four types of fibers are available. Now, what is step index fiber, and what happens in step index fiber? In step index fiber, the refractive index of the core is uniform and undergoes an abrupt change at the core cladding boundary means in a step index fiber the refractive index is changed only in one step and it abruptly so as we know that the refractive index of the core is uniform throughout and the refractive index of the cladding is also be uniform but it is it is has it is little bit is a little bit small as compared to a refractive index of the core. So the refractive index of the core is uniform throughout and there is a cladding. So if you move from core to cladding 
at the core cladding boundary if you jump from core region to cladding region then there is a change there is a abrupt change uh, in one step if you move from core boundary to the cladding boundary right and that type of fiber is step index fiber so in a step index fiber the refractive index of the core is uniform and it it only change when you move from core boundary to cladding region right and it is change in one step because the refractive index of the core is higher than the refractive index of the cladding right so step index fiber obtain their name from this abrupt change suddenly change sudden suddenly the refractive index is change that's why we call it abrupt change or change in one step called step index in refractive index now in graded index fiber the refractive index of the core varies gradually as a function of radial distance from the fiber center in graded index fiber the refractive index of the core is not uniform actually and it is maximum at the axis at the center at the axis and it decreases if you move from the axis of the core towards cladding region right and it decreases gradually right and again one condition should be fulfilled the refractive index of the cladding is small is low as compared to the refractive index of the core so in graded index fiber the the refractive index of the core is changed gradually if you move from the center or if you move from the axis of the core region towards the cladding region so single mode and multi mode fiber have a step index or graded index refractive index profile now look at these pictures look at these figures the refractive index profiles and light propagation in multi mode step index and multi mode graded index and single mode step index fibers so these are the three case that we discuss in this uh, in this slide we have three pictures one picture is for is of multi mode step index fiber second one is the multi mode graded index fiber and third one is the single mode step index fiber first you see that if you compare figure number a to figure number c look at the core size core diameter the core diameter of the multi mode is larger as compared to single mode this is the first condition that distinguish between multi mode fiber and single mode because in multi mode fiber the core diameter is higher is more as compared to single mode look at the look at the picture a multi mode step index fiber uh, we have n1 and n2 n1 is n look at this look at this n1 this n1 is the refractive index of the core this is n2 this is the refractive index of the cladding look at this small a it's the radius of the core and look at this small b it is the radius of the cladding right this is figure a multi mode step index fiber look at the propagation this is a multi mode here we have two modes one and two all propagate through a zigzag path straight line right so in multi mode step index fiber we have number of modes that are that follow a straight zigzag line like that right come to the multi mode graded index fiber look at n1 n2 have the same meaning these represent refractive index of core and cladding respectively a and b again radius of core and cladding respectively respectively and look at the propagation this time the propagation of these mode are not in a straight line right it's just like a parabolic type of uh, you know uh, propagation what is the reason behind that the reason behind that is that because the refractive index is changed at every moment in core so every time refraction occurs so the 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 direction always you know deviate from the normal every time that's why the you know the path you can see in this figure is is you know is is just like a parabolic path rather than a straight line why because of the refractive index change at every moment at every at every distance uh, in the core region that's why it's like that look at the profile look at the profile this profile is a parabolic profile 
and normally we use a parabolic profile of a multi-mode graded depth fiber and look at the propagation look at the difference between a and b and third one look at third one the refractive you know the there is a single mode stab index fiber again the core region have same refractive index and look at the diameter n1 n2 has the same meaning a and b have the same meaning look at the diameter of this uh, core region very small as we have to compare with a uh, multi mode so standard core size for single mode fiber are between 8 micrometer and 10 these are the range of a uh, core size 8 micrometer and to 10 micrometer and uh, for multi mode it is 50 micrometer and to 100 micrometer so look at the difference between the two right so these are the three cases these are three pictures that shows the propagation of a light signal inside these different types of uh, fibers optical fibers So a multi-mode step index fiber has a core of radius A and a constant refractive index N1. Already discussed, a cladding of slightly lower refractive index N2 surrounded, surround the core. Already discussed and previous figure shows the refractive index profile NR for this, this type of fiber that we can, we have already uh, seen in the previous slide. And multi-mode step index fibers have relatively large core diameter and large numerical aperture that's the reason why the uh, why, why the number of modes may be possible in the multi mode because of the core size core size are large relative to the uh, single mode fiber so core a large core size and a large numerical aperture make it easier to couple the light from a light from a light led into the fiber so you know uh, yeah, as far you know as the light is coming from optical source uh, the second step is to couple this light inside the optical fiber for that if the core diameter is higher is more than it is easy to couple the light that is obviously that is this is very much obvious that when the core diameter is large then it is easy to couple the light rather than a small diameter core so in multi mode fiber the coupling is easy you know uh, and if uh, and it uh, especially from the so source which is a LED, right? So if you have a very fine core diameter, then LEDs fail in that condition. In that condition, you need a very fine light, and that fine light coming from come from a laser. This is another optical source. So if you have a multi mode fiber, even LED can be coupled, but uh, for single mode fiber, LED can't couple because of very small uh, core diameter uh, then you need a laser in that condition so multi mode step index fiber core size is typically 50 to 100 micrometer we already discussed that and uh, unfortunately multi mode step index fiber have limited bandwidth capabilities so look at this picture we have n1 n2 these are the refractive indexes of core cladding and we have nr this is the refractive index profile a small a small b are the the radius of core and cladding look at the propagation of wave in graded index fiber multi mode graded index and look at the path you know every time we have a refraction why because every time the ray of light change one for one medium to another medium look at the refraction occur here then here then here then here then here so every moment we have a refraction every moment we have a bending of light and that creates this particular shape not a straight line because every time refraction occur every time every time your ray of light deviate from its straight path and that's the reason why we get this type of shape and this is the case of graded index fiber so figure shows possible path lights may take when propagating in multi mode graded index fiber so this is the case of multi mode graded index fiber so in most applications a multi mode graded index fiber with a core and cladding size of 62.5 oblique 125 micrometer offer the best so basically we use this type of dimensions uh, of uh, core cladding uh, mostly 
these are the standards uh, standard diameter of core and cladding that we use uh, mostly and we get the best result by using these type of configuration so there are some certain points you know actually uh, v number come in the picture v number decide whether the single, whether the fiber is a single mode and a, and a multi mode v v number is a is a dimension less uh, quantity and this v number depends upon uh, following uh, there are some factors that v number uh, depends upon one is uh, the wavelength that you used wavelength of the light and uh, uh, refractive index of core and cladding radius also so from all these factors the v number is to be calculated if v number is to be found below 2.405 then we can say that fiber is a single mode and if you if this v number comes to be greater than 2.405 then we can say it's a multi mode so v number decides the fiber whether it is support one mode or a multi mode and v number is a dimensionless quantity and it depends upon uh, the structure of the optical fiber means uh, radius and of uh, wavelength and uh, uh, refractive index of core and cladding so this v number decides a so single mode step index fiber propagates only one mode called the fundamental mode single mode operations occurs when the value of this fibers normalized frequency v number is also called as normalized frequency right so is between 0 and 2.405 the value of v should remain near 2.4 405 as far as the single mode step index fiber is concerned so single mode fiber carry a majority of the light power in the cladding material and the portion of the light transmitted to the cladding material is radiated out of the fiber so in single mode fiber there is a possibility of leakage of light because most of the lights come come in the cladding region and the light when the light come in the cladding region it indicates a leak it, it, it indicates a loss right so single mode fiber cut off wavelength is the smallest operating wavelength when single mode fiber propagate only the fundamental mode this is one point single mode fiber designs include cladding of sufficient thickness with low absorption and scattering property to reduce attenuation of the fundamental mode and single mode step index fiber has low attenuation and high bandwidth property this is one of the characteristic of single mode fiber and present application for single mode fiber include long high speed telecommunication system and there are several types of single mode gradient index fiber these fibers are not standard fibers and are typically only used in specially specially uh, specialty applications so optical fiber composed of plastic have been in use longer than glass and fiber this is one point and types of standard fibers using plastic includes multi mode step index and gradient index fibers and multi mode step index and gradient index plastic clad silica which we in short we say tcs fiber exist tcs fiber have a silica glass core and a plastic cladding normally pcs fibers are cheaper than all glass fibers but have limited performance characteristics and last multi mode step index fiber may also have a plastic core and cladding Thank you very much.